Abby. How come? It's all right. Well, where have you been? Come. Oh, you hungry? N no. It's just gonna go to waste. They told me you were dead. I knew you weren't. How long has it been? I'm not sure. Well, we were just girls. It seems like yesterday. I guess I was a little hungry. <laughs> Thank you. Do you remember that, that beautiful yellow sundress? I, I don't know. It was so lovely on you. I want to show you something. This is my favorite thing. Children grow up. <laughs> Except one. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Oh, you mean you can see her this time? Rose. This, this is Abby. We usually ask that visitors sign in at the front desk. She doesn't have to sign in, she's family. I only have Margaret and Jen on your visitor list, Rose. Oh, for heaven's sakes. She is my big sister, Abby. Well, can't you see the family resemblance? What's your name? Like she said, I'm Abby. Excuse me. Carol? Hello, Maggie. She's from social services. Yes, I know who she is, Grandma. Do you know this child? No. I knew it. Oh, don't be absurd, Maggie. No, this is your great Aunt Abby. Oh. I see. She says she's a member of your family? Mm -mm. Oh, of course she is. Tell them, Abby. That's all we needed to hear. Thank you. Come on, young lady. It's time to go. If she's tired, she needs clean clothes and a place to sleep. You have a guest bedroom. Grandma. We need to figure out where she came from and if anyone is looking for her. No one is looking for me. Maggie? I don't even know who she is. Margaret? Some things simply cannot be explained all in a rush. Please. When we last spoke, and granted it was a while ago, Michael had mentioned that you might have room for an additional child. Did he? It's late. The office is closed. What if you take her home just for the night? I don't know, Carol. She can't stay here. Just for one night. It's my birthday soon. Happy birthday. Will you come? I like that. <laughs> Thank you for being so kind. It's so good to see you again. I love you so much. I'll come back as soon as I can.
Sometimes life grabs us and pulls us to places unknown. All we can do is hope that where we end up is better than what we leave behind. There you are. Let me take that. Is that your husband? Yeah. Let's get you a hot shower and some dry clothes, yeah? Is he famous? In certain literary circles. Is he here? He's dead. Jen, this is Abby. Are you homeless or something? Show Abby to the guest room, okay? Come on. It's okay. It's just upstairs. Get settled in and I'll check on you in a second. Is that your cat? Nothing here is mine. Hey, she's just staying tonight. No, she had nowhere else to go. So... Hey, it's a school night. A bathroom is down the hall. Just use whatever you need in there. Just make yourself at home. Um, I'll be downstairs if you, if you need anything. I like your lantern. Looks like Gizmo does too. <laughs> Peter Pan? Oh, I love that book. Looks like it's a really old copy. Yeah, it's the oldest. You getting settled in okay? Yes. Do you want to talk at all about, um... About what? Who you are, how you ended up in my grandmother's room at the nursing home. How long ago did your husband die? Uh, a year ago. Almost exactly. I'm sorry. Thank you. You still wear it? Mm-hmm. Everything happens for a reason. Don't you think? I guess one never lets anyone touch her. <laughs> What's 
your name? No, your what's what's your real name? My grandmother, she gets things confused sometimes, and well, she wasn't confused. I'm Abby. All right. Mm -hmm. Listen, tell them. Tell them what? About me. Honey, what are you talking about? Get some rest, okay? And we will talk more in the morning. Good night, Maggie. Good night, Abby. Where are you? Don't do this to me. It scares me to death. I'll be back after my morning classes to check on you. I'll be fine. I like libraries. Sometimes I feel like I'm sitting beside a rushing river. I try to dip my feet in, but the tide is so strong, I'm afraid I'll be carried away.
Class doesn't start for 40 minutes. I'm not in your class. Where'd you come from? I'm Abby. What's your name? Mr. Griffin. Will you keep playing? Please? Is there someone looking for you? I'm waiting for Maggie. She's in class. How do you know Maggie? She's looking after me today. Was there somewhere you're supposed to be? The library. <laughs> A rebel? That's beautiful. It's not finished. I've had a few lessons, but that was a really long time ago. <laughs> All right, show me what you got, kid. <laughs> wow. <laughs> not bad. I think I can work with that. Got pages to read, things to write, things to do. Oh, there's the bell. Saved by it. Another great show for me. Another great show for me. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. You just have to stretch your fingers all the way right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. I told you to stay in the library. I'm sorry. Let's go. Okay. Thank you for keeping an eye on her for me. Uh, not for you. She wandered in here. Bye. Maybe she got tired of waiting. John. I gotta get ready for class. Abby, come on. See you around, kid. Mr. Griffin teaches private lessons? Um, yes, I did know that. Where are we going? Oh, yeah. To talk with a social worker. So you're trading me in? Hi, Sam. I'm running a few minutes late. You can wait in my office. Maggie, we can step in here. So here's the situation. There's no record of her in the system, and I have nowhere to place her until I find a more permanent solution. So Back, but I'm gonna ask you to keep it with her for another week. I have no permanent home. I know it's more than you asked for. I think it's what's best for her. Just a few more days. Would you like to stay with us for a while? What, really? Yeah. I mean, only for a little while until Carol gets things sorted. <sighs> yes, I would. OK, good. We'll just have to, uh, we'll schedule a follow-up appointment with one of their doctors. Wait, why? Oh, uh, standard procedure, I think. I don't need to go. I'm fine. Well, it isn't up to me. 
Nothing to be worried about, I'm sure. Stay here for a minute, okay? Serious. You would prefer I just leave her here? To be put back into the system like you were for all those years? It's not even like that. It's like, you don't even ask me. You don't even tell me what you're going to do. You just do it. Okay, I don't have to run things past you, Jen. Michael adopted me. I'm a Stevens too. Does that mean anything to you? We adopted you. Okay, if that's what you need to tell yourself. And what is that supposed to mean? Forget it. What? We don't need to add another member to this screwed up family, okay? What do you want from me, Jen? Nothing. Honestly, I wish Michael were here instead of you. for you oh no no you, you didn't no she and I had problems long before you showed up we'll figure it out then so now that you are officially staying with us, I thought it might be fun to set up some guitar lessons with Mr. Griffin. Really? Yeah, it looked like you were having fun with it. Yes. Okay. And Jen? Um, I'm gonna sign you up for lessons too. No, thanks. It's not optional. I don't wanna learn the guitar. Oh no, not guitar lessons. Voice lessons. Why? Well, you like to sing, don't you? That doesn't mean that I want to be a singer. It's this or summer school. Your choice. You sure this is where you want to spend the morning? I can't promise a good time. I'm sure. OK. Is she doing any better today? Not that I can tell. Are you sure this is a good idea? Hi, Grandma. Ah, hello. How are you feeling? Well, I can't complain. Um, you remember Abby? Well, now, that is a silly question. I have something I want to show you. Are you staying, Margaret? Oh, no, I've got to run into school and grade the kids' finals, and so I'll be a few hours. Oh, that's fine. Are you sure it's okay to leave her here? I'm not crazy, Margaret. No, I didn't, I didn't mean... Oh, we have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just been a, in the same few weeks with the finals and, and Jen just challenging everything I do. And... No, that's okay. We've got help now. Mm, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay, well, I'll be back soon. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, uh... Well, I, I have to run. Oh. I love you. I love you, too. Is that you? Mm. During the war, a lot of us gals had to pitch in when the men left to fight. We built those bombers. You look happy. Oh, I was. No, we were, we were doing our part to save the world. <laughs> oh, now that, that was Greg. I wish you'd known him. He died in 1945. He was shot down in, in Germany. He was very handsome. <laughs> and this, this was Harry. And this was little Benjamin. <laughs> you raised them on your own? Well, they relied on me. All I could do was to rely on myself. Now, look. Now, that's Maggie's mother. That's Helen. What happened to her? Well, Ellen got pregnant when she was 17. And she died in a car crash when Maggie was three. So you raised Maggie as well? All alone? Well, anyone would have done the same. And that hasn't been my experience. That's not what I was going to show you. It's... Oh, of course. This picture was taken a week before you disappeared. Mother didn't come out of her room for weeks. I'm sorry. Why did you wait so long to come back? I couldn't remember, so I just kept moving. I'm happy I found you. Can I keep this? I thought you might want to. I'm staying with Maggie. They placed me there for now. Good. She doesn't know about me yet. I don't think I'll be able to keep it a secret for long. No, she's a good girl. I like her, but most people aren't like you, Rose. They don't understand. Abby, I need you to make me a promise. What? I need you to take care of her. And sweet Jen, too. Can you do that for me? She can look after herself. Just like you did. Well, perhaps. And I might have to leave again. Well, do your best. As long as you can. You can see her, can't you? Her? My fairy. I knew it. Oh, I just knew it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Abby. Mm -hmm. Abby, show me. Show me, help me see. John, can I talk to you for a minute?
How are you? Come on, Maggie. I'm doing the best I can. What do you want? Um, I want to sign up the girls to take lessons with you this summer. Why? Well, Abby was really taken with you, and um, Jen, Jen, Jen needs something to keep her distracted. Distracted? And I trust you with them. I gotta go. I will pay you for your time. Just, just tell me what you charge. 40 an hour. Fine. Great. When would be good for you? Whenever's good for you, Maggie. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 2, and we'll just do them back to back. OK, then. So, who wants to go first? She can. Sure. Okay. Uh, Jen, if you want to wait out on the porch, you have something to entertain yourself. I think I can figure something out. She's cheerful. <laughs> <laughs> so, the guitar. <clears throat> Can you play that song you were playing the other day? What song? You know, the one at school. Ah, you know, that. That's just something I've been playing with. It's not finished. <laughs> I don't care. OK. This is your lesson, not mine. So once I play it, we work on chords and finger placements. Sounds good. <laughs> So, uh, so how's it going over at Maggie's? I guess you're staying? For now. That's good. Why are you so mad at her? I'm not mad at anybody. Grown-ups always say that. like opera or anything. Fair enough. How much longer? The warm-up's really important. Just a few more exercises. What? But it's, it's good to start thinking about what kind of music you'd be interested in working on. I don't know, like good stuff? Good stuff. Specific. OK. Um, OK. Uh, Wee, 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 okay, wee, like wee. the stuff you used to sing. Which stuff? In your band. Didn't realize you knew about that. I know a lot of things. Right. Okay. So, uh, we'll focus on some, some rock. Maybe some bluegrass. I'm 
Great. Right on time. <clears throat> See you guys next week. Uh, good work. John? You should get going. Uh, they're waiting for you. Wow.
You should come in and listen. It's amazing how people can make themselves go invisible right in front of your eyes. They don't realize how lonely it is to not be seen. What's up? I couldn't sleep. Are you nervous about going to the doctor tomorrow? Could I sit in here with you and read? Um, sure. Sure, I'll climb on up. Do you want to read out loud? Okay. Mrs. Darling first heard of Peter when she was tidying up her children's minds. Oh, no, 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 no. Now let's hear a proper British accent, child. This, this is Peter Pan. It is the nightly custom of every good mother. <laughs> After her children are asleep, to rummage in their minds and put things straight for the next morning. We pack it into their proper places, many articles that have wandered during the day. Your turn, Mom. Oh, I mean Maggie. If you could keep awake. But of course you can't. You would see your own mother doing this and you would find it very interesting to watch her. You would see her on her knees, I expect, lingering humorously over some of your contents, pressing this to her cheek as if it were as nice as a kitten, and hurriedly stowing that out of sight. Okay. Your turn. When you wake in the morning, the naughtiness with which you went to bed has been folded up and placed at the bottom of your mind. And on the top, beautifully aired, are spread out your prettier thoughts, ready for you to put on. Jim? What's this? I've seen this before. One night, I heard my parents talking about what I was to be when I grew up. I didn't want to grow up. So I ran away to live with the fairies. I thought that time would pick up where it left off. But it hasn't. It just keeps whirling by without me. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you. You think you can get some sleep now? Well, good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. 
Uh, see you in the morning light. Where we'll do our best with all our might. <laughs> Never say goodbye. Because saying goodbye means going away. And going away means forgetting. This won't take long. Are you okay? Hey, sweetheart, tell me your name. Abby. And your last name? Just Abby. Okay, Abby, I want you to know that you are absolutely safe to reveal anything within these walls. What if I don't pass? Will you send me back? Back where? There's nothing to pass or fail. I just want to talk with you a little bit. They all say that. Will you tell me your story? It must be quite a lonely life moving around all the time, not being able to share the truth about who you are, and for so many years. Yes, it is. It can be. You look worried. I'm not ready to leave. What if you didn't have to leave at all? <laughs> That's impossible. Do you ever wish you could grow up like everyone else? I wish I was to be a girl and have fun. <laughs> there are wonderful things you can only do when you're grown up. What about the terrible things? I should be able to fly. I just never got the knack. Sometimes I have to run instead. As fast as I can. So fast, it almost feels like flying. Did that hurt? No. to take you over some x-rays, okay? It's, it's nothing. It's not nothing. shouldn't be in here. Sorry. What happened to her? The doctor will come out and explain everything, but you need to wait out here. Okay. 
Somebody should have been watching her. Okay, why don't you take the car and head home, and I'll walk around for a bit and see if I can find her. Hey! Whoa, man, you walk that. Go down, speed racer. Okay, home's that way. Let's get some ice cream. Hey, 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 hey. It's hot as hell out here. Come on. Okay. Text mom, okay? Hey. Let's get some for Rosemary, too. What? I think she likes chocolate. Rocky Road. She likes Rocky Road. Can we get a pint, please? Who did that to you? Was it Michael? Uh, no. That would be foster dad number two. And then yours truly. The cuts, I mean. Michael was the first decent person. How did you end up with Maggie and Michael? Turns out my deadbeat birth parents are second cousins to Michael or something. He found out after the fact that they'd abandoned me. He tracked me down. He even became a foster parent just so he could bring me home. He adopted me. So like I said, Decent guy. She fly, don't bother me. She fly, don't bother me. She fly, don't bother me. Cause I belong to somebody. <laughs> How are the music lessons going? Good. You should hear Jen sing. Ah. Oh. She's wonderful. <laughs> well, I'd like that very much. Well, look at you. Oh, come here. Now that's my Maggie. <laughs> the girls bought me ice cream. Oh. And we have been discussing my birthday. <laughs> right. I want to have a party. No, I haven't had a party in years. <laughs> sure. Sure, I'll speak with the staff. No, oh, no, not here. Somewhere far away from this stuffy old place. <laughs> we thought we could have it in the backyard. Yep, yeah, with music and dancing. We could decorate with lights and candles, reaching all the way down to the woods. And right into fairyland. <laughs> <laughs> well, if the girls will help me plan it. We'll take care of everything. <laughs> well, except for paying for it. Oh, right. <laughs> Grandma, are you okay? Maybe. I want to come home. We talked about this. I can't offer you the proper care, and then what if your heart gives out again? It's okay. I'm ready. I want to be with my family when my time comes. Please don't talk like that. Tell her, Abby. Yes? Um... Thank you for taking care of Abby today. I really appreciate all you did. Someone messed her up pretty badly. Are you okay? What is it? I miss Michael. I could talk to him, I guess the way Abby can talk to you. I'm sorry. 
I miss him too. What? It's kind of hard to believe. Why? Never mind. Jen? What? I know about the affair with Mr. Griffin. You read my journal. I had just started feeling like I had a family. Did you even love Michael or was it always a money thing? Oh, that's not fair. What? He was like 20 years older than you. What was I supposed to think? It's complicated, Jen. You think I'm not smart enough to understand? I loved him, but I was too young and I was just starting my writing career. What writing career? I'm trying to explain that to you. You know, we, we never had much in common and and we just, we grew apart over the years. I was, I was invisible and, and he never took me seriously. And I just, I lost track of myself. And then I met John and he saw me. I messed up. I messed up. Michael was good to me. He adored me. You know, when Michael was first trying to track you down, he didn't tell me. And then he came home with you and he said you were staying with us and that he wanted to adopt you and it was, it was just like he dropped a bomb on you. Kind of like when you brought Abby home. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know all of that. No, of course not. How could you? I don't mean to ruin your life or anything. No, I didn't have a dad either. And I know what that's like and I I should have known how much you wanted that. You know, it's not your fault. Any of it. I'm so sorry. I like Abby. I'm glad you brought her home. Me too. Mr. Griffin still loves you. It's obvious. <laughs> I don't know about that. But you love him, right? You haven't moved on? Well, if he loves you and you love him, it just seems pretty stupid to not be together. Why don't we'll slow it down a little bit. You play the exact same strumming pattern that I showed you, and then I'll figure something out. It wasn't me.
Feels like a million miles between us Oh, we can't break through I want to say I'm sorry Find a way to make it up to you I should have had an open heart Moved out of my own way For too long we've been apart Let's find our love today Hearts broken, hopes shaken You needed love to help you heal only thinking of myself wrapped in emptiness and fear. My heart is here for the taking. Together we will be okay. I will always be here for you. I will you. always be here. I am here to stay. I want you to know you're not alone You can always count on me I'm reaching out with open arms How can I help you to see? Trust doesn't come easily but we'll have to take a chance I'll be here when you're ready For us to begin again Hearts broken, holes shaking You needed love to help you heal I was only thinking of myself Wrapped in emptiness and fear My heart is here for the taking Together we will be okay I will always be here for I you I will always be here I am here to stay Um, uh, Mr. Griffin. John. John. I have a favor to ask. My great-grandmother is turning 90 next week, and we're throwing her a party, and I'm in charge of the music. 
but I thought I might surprise her by being the music. You want to sing at the party? If you'll sing with me. I'd be honored. <laughs> See you soon, John. It's a good day, Jen. Yeah, I bet. All children grow up, except one. They all know that they will grow up. And the way that Wendy knew was this. One day, when Wendy was two years old, she was playing in a garden and she plucked a flower and ran with it to her mother. I suppose she must have looked rather delightful. For Mrs. Darling cried, Oh, why can't you remain like this forever? Are you okay, Grandma? Oh. I'm fine. Just a little tired. This was all that passed between them on the subject. But henceforth, Wendy knew that she too would grow up. i 
I wonder sometimes that eternity can feel so short. Before things really start, they're already over. Hi, Grandma. Hi. Happy birthday. Thank you. Welcome home. Happy birthday. You must be John. Oh, it's nice to finally meet you. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. Happy birthday, Grandma. This one's for you. hearts come out to play it's time to be fearless we don't need to run away let's live in the moment happy birthday Rose. I love you <laughs> Looking for a way to be strong home. 
But the strength was within us all along. You found a way to make a change and showed me I could do the same. Sophie, we've gone through the fire and it made our Abby? This is our time and our story to tell. We're still holding on. That bolt of lightning we were waiting for turned out to be a whisper in the dark. And so reaching. Compassion in their hearts. This is our time, our story to tell. We still hold. Sophie, you found a razor. Sweetheart. Sophie, it's okay. We're not going to send you back there. You don't have to run. Abby? Jen and I talk, and we'd like to adopt you. We were going to tell you after the party. Life isn't solid when you get up close. Everything blurs together. Things you thought were real become insubstantial. And when you aren't made of the stuff of this world, it's easier to leave it. You just flicker out. To live would be an awfully big adventure. Death is nothing at all. It does not count. I have only slipped away into the next room. Everything remains as it was. The old life that we lived so fondly together is untouched, unchanged. Call me by the old familiar name. Speak of me in the easy way which you always used. Put no sorrow in your tone. Laugh as we always laughed at the little jokes that we enjoyed together. Play, smile, think of me, pray for me. Let my name be ever the household word that it always was. children grow up, except one.
feels like a million miles between us A wall we can't break through I want to say I'm sorry Find a way to make it up to you I should have had an open heart Moved out of my own way For too long we've been apart Let's find our love today Hearts broken, hope shaken You needed love to help you heal only thinking of myself wrapped in emptiness and fear my heart is here for the taking together we will be okay i will always be here for you i will you. always be here i am here to stay I want you to know you're not alone You can always count on me I'm reaching out with open arms How can I help you to see? Trust doesn't come easily but we'll have to take a chance I'll be here when you're ready For us to begin again Hearts broken, holds shaking You needed love to help you heal I was only thinking in emptiness and fear My heart is here for the taking Together we will be okay I will always be here for I you I will always be here I am here to stay Stay. I am home to stay.